So let's get into my band, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Now, a little premise behind this is it seems like the last, every gig that I've had this last time, every gig they requested a song. This song has been requested more than anything, including, now the last gig was Christmas, uh, the one before this was all Christmas, all Christmas music background, but other than that, even the Cowboy Disco, I had this song, September, by Earth, Wind, and Fire, okay, so let's get into Earth, Wind, and Fire. Who is Earth, Wind, and Fire? And then we can go from there. So let's get into Earth, Wind, and Fire. Let's do it. All right, so that's what goes on the fire. Let's get into it. All right, so this is the story behind it. September 21st is a special occasion for the fans of the band Earth, Wind & Fire. Thanks to their hit song, September. In 1978, the classic celebrates the specific date of the song lyrics throughout its original release on November 18th of the year as a new song of the album, The Best of Earth, Wind & Fire, Volume 1. The upbeat disco track, the song has remained a firm f favorite since it was first released, thanks to the catchy melody and a timeless lyric. To mark the, the anniversary, fans of the band even hold 21 night, 21st night, hold 21st night in September parties across the globe every year. Here is how the classic disco track came about. How did September come to be? September was co-written by Ali Williams, along with band members Mar Maurice White and Al Mac McKay. McKay and White worked on the first track with the former coming up of the icon Uppity Melody and the lathery refrain of the online Do You Remember? It was while the band was working on the intro that was and brought in the studio an interview with the American songwriter in 2018. She admitted that she knew instantly it was a track she wanted to work on with them. When I walked in, the band was working on the intro, and I thought, please, let this be the one they want me to work on. It is the happiest sounding thing I've ever heard, she revived. 
September was the first song Willis wrote with White, and it was she who urged the band to use the word night instead of day when referring to the iconic date in the song lyrics. Speaking with CBS this morning in 2019, shortly before the, her passing on Christmas Eve the, of that year, Willis said of, of the lyrics, first thing I said, Days gotta go, it's gotta be night, it's more romantic. The phase body ah, was almost cut. One thing was and White argued about during write, the lyrics writing process was the use of the phrase da -di -a, a, 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 a melody the band leader used for to placement during every songwriting process. It was a way for him to, to work on the melodies of the songs without real words, and Willis was keen for this phrase to be replaced because it didn't make sense, but White wanted to keep it in. Speaking with Spotify in 2018 about the song origin, Willis reflected, every time he did that, I said, well, we're going to replace it, that with real words, right? Because the song has to make sense. Finally, the last day of recording, the deadline is midnight, and it was 10 minutes to go. And I was literally in the studio on my knees because I thought, oh my God, that stupid phrase is going to be ruining the whole thing. So I finally said to the incredible, calm, soulful, spiritual man, what the, what the F does body I mean? And Maurice explained, essentially said, who the F cares? And I learned the biggest lesson of my songwriting career at the moment, never let the lyric get in the way of the groove. And there they are right there. Okay. So, let's check out. Do you remember? 21st night of September. Love was changing in the minds of pretenders while chasing the clouds away. Hey, 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 body Say, do you remember, body Dancing in December, body y'all. Never was a cloud a day. All right, let's let's give her a listen. Ready? Okay, so that's it. That's September. Now, the next time you get this song requested, you must play it. You must play it with funk. Remember, remember the funk. You always got to remember that that funk will set that fire off in that crowd. Um, funk has that way of doing it. So if you if you have a gig that has funk in it, you must play the song. I guarantee you, if you play the song, you're gonna get you're gonna get you're gonna get grandma. I guarantee you, you're gonna pull grandma out of her seat and she's gonna start singing. And she's going to start clapping, and she's going to start dancing, and shaking, and ruin all that funky stuff. Because guess what? Anytime that you play funk at a gig, remember, don't just play funk at a gig. Do it in a funky style. Take it from me. Anyways. Alright. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. <laughs>
Go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Uh, go ahead and ring that bell for no more occasions for the videos like this and countless others. Uh, go ahead and smash that like button and peace out.